Now this is part two of the function summary of f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared. So we'll start organizing. First, uh, we, it's always nice to start out by saying what the function is before you do it. So I you know, have the function here so we can look at it. It'll be at the top of every, that's the one consistent thing from frame to frame or from vid to vid will we'll, uh, stay consistent. Um, so the other, the, the next thing on the list is what type is this? Well, it's a polynomial. And why do we do that? Well, because it can tell, it tells us a lot of things as far as details. So really the first thing on the list is the domain. And the domain, well, that's why we say it's a polynomial. What? The, the, the domain of the polynomial is all real numbers, interval notation. We could say uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, the second thing on the list is uh, intercepts, x and y intercepts. So I'll just intercepts uh, and X intercepts. Well, if you, uh, there doesn't always have to be two, but um, anyway, there's a possibility of two. There's only one y intercept. <laughs> so, x intercepts, uh, we found out uh, a second ago were uh, zero, zero, and two thirds, zero. and refer back to the FID before. And then our uh, y-intercept, well, if our x-intercept is zero, zero, then our y-intercept is zero, zero as well. Well, you said equal, I mean, you know, however you want to figure that out, but anyway, um, uh, set x equal to zero and see what you get for y, but since I already knew my x-intercept was zero, zero, I knew my y-intercept had to be that as well. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next, um, item on the list is continuity. And um, the continuity of the function, well it's a polynomial and a polynomial is continuous everywhere. So the continuity of a polynomial function is equal to its domain. So that's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Now there are other continuity issues that we like to look at and I'll analyze a, um, a rational function so that we can look at those, but those are holes, finite jumps. Rationals won't have finite jumps, but anyway. Uh, vertical asymptotes and uh, anything else about the continuity, I guess, if you're working with certain things. Uh, anyway, moving right along, uh, under, under the continuity we also have where f is positive, and I'll just abbreviate that, positive of f, and f is negative, and of course, this means the intervals in which uh, f is above and below the x-axis. So I'm looking for another color. I'll do this in purple. So uh, it's always good, or I like to anyway. It's the way I was shown, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, do the number line, label what the number line is. This is the sine of f graph and we put our x-intercepts because x-intercepts is where it, the function is going to cross over from positive to negative if it's going to. So we have <laughs> 0 and 2 thirds. Notice I've labeled 0 to the left of 2 thirds because it's less than 2 thirds. <laughs> so then I test in the function um, if I get a positive and negative uh, result the sign and when I go to the left of zero well I always like to just uh, you know go big you know and my dominating term in my function is uh, 3x cubed or x cubed as the highest power as I go to you know I put in negative 1 billion negative 1 billion squared is a negative number and that's gonna dominate that whole situation there um, so not to mention this negative sign, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. It's a negative. So it's definitely negative. We can definitely say that f is negative from uh, start, anyway, from negative infinity to zero 
and uh, zero is not positive or negative, so don't label it as such. Uh, now between zero and two thirds, I would say one third uh, would would probably be good. Maybe one half. I don't know uh, what would be easier for you. Let's just do uh, point one. We'll just work it in the um, in the calculator here. So three times point one cubed minus two times point one squared is a negative number as well. So I'll just make that mark on the graph uh, so I know it's negative. You could use a comma or a union symbol. I, I'm not really sure uh, what you want to do. It, you're really just labeling intervals where f is negative. Uh, so it's also negative from zero to two thirds. You don't want to say f is negative from negative infinity to two thirds because it's actually not negative at zero, zero. It's, it's um, kissing the x-axis, uh, kiss point. Um, I think. I can't remember the other term they used, but anyway. Um, so now we go, I, I, again, I just go to positive infinity. Po so a positive number cubed is going to dominate. It's going to be positive, so it's going to be above the x-axis. So f is positive from 2 thirds, not included. Don't include these endpoints because 0 is neither positive nor negative. Um, there's some debate in some of the other problems. But I think, uh, I think I'm gonna move on and, and uh, let me see if the other, uh, yeah, I think I can move on a couple of, see what do we got here. No, that's gonna be the end of that video.